now we begin with the next session. And for this, we have invited an eminent speaker from National Institute of Pharmacy Education and Research, Mohali, Dr. Anand Sharma. He shall be introducing us to uh, IPR. But before that, I would like to invite Dr. Jaisambrit for the welcome address. Thank you, Dr. Sharma. Um, it's a little unorthodox giving a welcome address for building like the star already when the program has started. But due to the paucity of time, with uh, Professor Chani had to leave, so we had to be scheduled. So, um, distinguished speaker, my colleagues and students, uh, welcome to this uh, um, workshop in, on intellectual property rights, which has been uh, arranged and organized by the joint venture of Redmond Club of the Department of Chemistry and Institute uh, Innovation Cell of SD College. So, just to give a short introduction for both. The Department of Chemistry has a weekly football of around 750 yeah. students. Uh, I hope I'm audible at the back. Thank you. And uh, this comprises of undergraduate students who are pursuing their uh, medical and non-medical course. We also take classes of chemistry for industrial chemistry students and bioinformatics and biotechnology honors students. We also have a master's course of MSc by Chemistry Pharmaceutical awarded as an innovative program by University Grants Commission and a research center awarded by Punjab University for conducting research leading to the PhD degree. The inception of the Institute's innovation cell took place in our college in 2018. And I hope students, all of you are aware of this because it has uh, started as an initiative to inspire you, to encourage you, uh, and to motivate you for entrepreneurship and startups. And I hope you know that India lies third uh, in the um, highest number of startup rates globally. So it's because of initiatives such as this by the government of India, which is really commendable. So um, thank you so much, sir, uh, for uh, accepting our invite and giving us a talk on such a very, very important issue of intellectual property rights. Because any idea that is born from our mind, which has been conceived in our minds, that is intellectual property. And how do we upscale it, get it into commercialization or on an academic scale? There are certain rights associated with it. And our distinguished speaker today, along with the others who are yet to take the dais, will be giving us very valuable inputs about so we feel really Thank honored you so that you have spared the time from your legal schedule and come here to bless us today. Now I would like to read some of the glimpses of his extensive biodata. Professor Anand Sharma, his academic qualifications are PhD and Phil MCOM, postgraduate diploma in marketing management, postgraduate diploma in computer applications, certificate course in IPRs, and LLB. Professor Sharma has outstanding research, organizational, and communication skills. His areas of specialization include marketing, international marketing, supply chain management and strategic management. He has supervised six PhDs and 200 master's thesis. Professor Sharma is a dedicated, reserve-driven, self-motivated person with the ability to develop and strengthen management teams in order to maximize the efficiency. He is proficient in leading a new sector-specific department in National Institute and made it a dynamic and progressive department and also able to make compassionate relationships with outside stakeholders and within department. Furthermore, he has served as Associate Dean Academics in session 21-22 at NIPA, and he has teaching experience of more than 28 years at university and institute level, and he has also worked as an academic coordinator and placement coordinator at MIM and NIPA. He has also been invited as a speaker at various government and private institutes. He has published more than 50 research papers, articles, chapters in national and international journals, magazines, and books. Not only this, he has also served at different academic and administrative bodies of Kurukshetra University, MIM, NOIDA, NIPA, Grapikara University, Dehradun, and Haryana Agricultural University, Hisar. So having said this, I excuse myself and uh, request Professor Anand Sharma, the esteemed speaker, to interact with the speaker. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nibok, ma'am, for your words. And first of all, I would like to thank organizers for inviting me. 
to share knowledge in this subject. And today I will be talking about the basic aspect of mechanics. I will take you from the basic concepts to the different type of agents. Then we will discuss some cases which are important with reference to patent protection or which are important commercially also. Then lastly, I will discuss what is the significance of patents during the different stages of the product life cycle, how patents are becoming important in our routine life, particularly when we talk about the competitive scenario which is prevalent in the market. Now, you all have heard about assets. And you know that the assets are of two types. One is tangible assets and the intangible. <clears throat> tangible assets are those assets which you can physically verify. And intangible assets are those assets which you cannot physically verify. And since we are talking more about intangible assets, now these are those assets which you cannot physically verify. Why? Because these are all creations of mind. Because in case of tangible product, we have land, building, you have your car, you have your pen, and the other things. So, all the things which are created by mind, they are going to be meaningful for you as well as for the society. Now, you have to see that how those creation of mind can be beneficial for everybody. Now, when we look at the different kind of intangible assets which you see, and I will discuss also those things in the presentation. Now, they are known as patents, they are known as trademarks, they are known as designs, they are known as copyrights. Now, I will be dis more discussing about patents, copyrights, trademarks, because they are going to be more important because we use them in our common or routine life. Now, another important aspect is this patent is to be distinguished from the rights. You have a creation of your mind. When you registered it, you get a hold of it. That is, that invention is registered against your name. But this name or this right which is given to you is given basically to protect you, protect you from the outsiders, from the competitors, from the outside world. That is, those people who are interested in either copying you or exploiting your innovation. So, intellectual property right is a right which is given by the government to protect your interest. Right? So, invention is intellectual property. Whatever is generated from your mind is the intellectual property. But when you look at the right given to it, it is when it is registered, then uh, rights are given to it. And, and that rights are always uh, with the inventor, not with the other one. Another thing is, this right which is given to you, you can exploit. And that exploitation is basically happening when you are giving this right to somebody else, when you are allowing somebody else to use that particular right. For example, if I have invented a particular invention and I'm not in a position to take it forward, I will give it to somebody else, right? And when I'm transferring that right, I will be giving him permission. Or it may be that I'm transferring him in lieu of some money, some, you can say, consideration. Then another form of intellectual property right is copyright. Like for example, whatever you are publishing in your in journals or in, a, in the form of articles, now that can also be protected, protected by copyright. Like for example, somebody is writing a book, is publishing that particular book, but normally you are seeing that in the first page or second page, the copyright certificate is written that it belongs to a particular person. 
right? So whenever you are you want to use a part of it or you want to copy it, now you have to give uh, you can say a kind of acknowledgement to that particular person. But if you are not giving in that case, now he may take action against you because he has been given the copyright for that particular publication. Now, nowadays, in case of sciences, or not in sciences, it's everywhere, uh, in every field, you will see that whenever we are publishing an article, we are not supposed to copy something from others' publication. And nowadays, one important aspect is there. We, we should be very careful and must be aware of what the plagiarism rules are there, that how much you can copy and how much you cannot copy. Right. For example, when you are doing your post graduation or you are doing your PhD, now then you will publish some articles or your research work. Now that article or research work should not contain a copied version. In case if it is having a copied version, then that may be retracted, or if there, in that case, your publication can be cancelled. Now this has been observed at number of places. Like uh, I'm from Naipur, I know so how the scientists. They do this kind of activity. There are people in Punjab University, they have also copied. So all their papers, the research work, which have been found that they have copied from somewhere, they all have been uh, withdrawn and the weightage is not given to the writer. Another important aspect is of the uh, intangible asset is the patent, uh, sorry, the brand or trade name. And nowadays, the brands are becoming important. The trade name is becoming important. The companies, whenever they are introducing a product, now they are trying to register the name of the product in the marketplace so that nobody can use the same name in the marketplace. Because if somebody is using the same name, then in that case, it is going to be a problem for the first entrant into the marketplace. He may face difficulty in terms of competing into the market. So these are the different kind of intellectual property rights which are there. Like patent, patent is given to the inventions. Here the inventor is protected by the rules and regulations of the government. Now these rules and regulations are different in different countries. So whatever rules are here in India, they may not be the same in case of US market. And I will show that, like, that how the rules, how the different rules, they protect different kind of rights of the inventors and how they are able to make the money because of the rules only. In India, there are some rules where certain things are not patentable but in case of us market there are rules which give the permission of those inventions which are not protected in india but they are protected there in us market and that's how the inventors scientists they are able to make huge money from the marketplace in case of us market not in india then these patents have a life of 20 years like whenever you are filing a patent right from the that day your Invention is registered in the patent office and you have the exclusivity uh, that is of 20 years. Up to 20 years, nobody can use that particular invention except with your permission. If you are giving the permission, then he can use, otherwise he cannot use. So in the morning, he, sir was saying that it is a negative right. That is, you are hindering others to take advantage of their invention. But that advantage can be given by you with your permission to the others by with your permission. Then second is copyright. Now copyright protects the expression of literary artistic work. And this is normally protected for 60 years. This is the longest period of uh, advantage which is given for the literary work or uh, other artistic work. In case of trademark, now trademark is a distinctive sign which is used to distinguish the products. Here the right is given for 10 years. Now this is the only right which is extendable by making the payment. Like initially it is given for 10 years and the companies, because they have a brand, if the it is only for 10 years, then after 10 years, the brand will go out of the market, right? So companies have to go, they have to survive for a longer period of time. So in the rules, it is written that this right can be extended beyond 10 years and you have to make the payment uh, for the next 10 years. And you can continue it, uh, continue the extension maybe for 100 years. There are a number of brands, you will see they are there in the market for more than 150 years. Look at Lifewire. 
and see when it was originated and how, how long it is there in the marketplace. Then design part. Now design is that particular element of uh, intellectual property which protects the appearance of the product, aesthetic style of the product, right? Like for example, you all are using different kind of uh, powders, right? Telcom powders. Now, telcom powders, they are given in a packet. Look at how forms have changed the design over a period of time. And whenever they are changing the design, they are protecting it so that nobody can copy that particular design. Look at how Pepsi, Coca-Cola, they have changed the design of the bottles and they all have registered patent with respect to the design of the bottle, right? So all these things are being protected. They are protected just to protect your interest. That is so that nobody other, no other competitor can copy your product and, or copy your design and sell in the marketplace. Now, nowadays, this is another thing, the database. Databases are also given protection and this protection is given for 15 years, right? Then trade secrets is the secret formula which is used for producing a particular product and companies, they are able to survive for a longer period of time in the marketplace because they are not able, they are not sharing the secret like for example somebody has developed a desi dawa desi medicine usne develop ki hai us medicine ko usne kya banaya hai kya combination use kiya hai and he has not transferred it to somebody right so that is a secret kind of thing he is not transferring it to me but as long as he lives now he will be using that secret formula and maybe curing the patients but in case of marketplace, because when it's, when an individual is converting uh, invention or number of invention into the form of a company, when the companies are uh, not sharing that information for a longer period of time and they are taking that secret uh, for producing the product and that is giving them the return. Like in case of Coca-Cola or in case of McDonald's, you will see that there are formulas in case of Coca-Cola or Pepsi, there are formulas, they are protecting it. In case of McDonald's, the, the sauce which is they are preparing, they have a secret formula for that. Now, all are being protected and this protection is given for unlimited period of time. And unlimited is till the existence of a company or till the existence of the individual. So, we will more talk about the patent. A patent is a right granted to an inventor by the federal government that permits the inventor to exclude others from making, selling or using that invention. Now, patent is given only for the invention. Invention not the creation of man. Like whatever you are doing in the lab and you are able to develop a new molecule. Now, that has to be protected because it is the molecule is the outcome of your thought process and that molecule is to be protected because if you know that what for it is going to be used, how it is going to be manufactured, no, then you may start your own company and take it forward. But when you do not have those kind of financial uh, abilities, now in that case, if you know that this molecule is going to be used for some benefits, so you may contact some companies, you may transfer your patent right to somebody else and then he can develop, a, convert the patent into a product and sell in the marketplace. Now, as Sir was saying that patent must have a utility. If it is a, has a utility, then only it is going to be protected. If it doesn't show any sort of utility, then in that case, it may not be protected. Similarly, the invention should be a novel character. It should not be such which is already known. Something which is new, right? Then uh, it cannot be obvious. Obviously, there is there is there must be something newness. The invention should not be such that which is known to everybody. Like for two and two plus two is four. If you say I have developed the formula, two plus two is four, so it is already known. So in that case, it is not going to be protected. Now different definitions are there. So I will 
discuss these two aspects. Patent is a bilateral agreement between the inventor and the government, where inventor discloses in invention to the regulator, and the that regulator provides a protecting right by enforcing the rules and regulations. Right. So when we are uh, like example, we, we want to register our invention. We will go to the government. Like in India, there is a patent office. We will submit the application to the patent office. That patent office, on the basis of that information, will try to protect you as per the rules and regulations. Now, these rules and regulations are defined, decided by the government. Right? Then patent is a technical legal document. This is another aspect of definition. It is a technical legal uh, document. Now, where <clears throat> Uh, patent captures the challenge of both science and laws as it explains the technology of the invention and protects the right in it. Right. So it is a technical legal document where uh, the explanation with respect to the technology is written and then the rights are also written. And that way you are like, for example, when we are making a contract, we are writing certain clauses. Now, this is the clause, these are the conditions. So all these conditions will be abided by the people, those who are involved in to signing the agreement. So, and by way of signing the agreement, you are able to protect your interest. So that way you have to look at, it is a technical legal document. So when we look at the industries, like agriculture, aviation, automobiles, or biotech, chemicals, now look at, these are the different areas in these different industries. Like for example, in agriculture, Agriculture components, machineries, fertilizers, farm food, or chemical composition for use in agriculture. Anything which you are able to develop with respect to these aspects, like in case of aviation, the wings, the radars, air uh, frames, engines, aircraft controllers. Now these are the different aspects. Now all these aspects, on all these aspects, if you are able to innovate something new, now that can be protected. Like in case of biotechnology, vaccine therapeutics, diagnostic kits, biofertilizers, biopesticide enzymes, no, gene sequences. Now they all being, if you are able to develop new or find out something uh, which is valuable for the society, now that can be protected. In case of chemicals like basic chemicals, polymers, petrochemicals, consume, consumer chemicals, paint, dyes, pigments, basic inorganic uh, industrial processes, precious metal extractions. Now, all these can be protected. Now, these are the areas in the different industries which can be protected. Like in case of pharmaceutical sectors, new drugs, composition, formulation, dosage forms, diagnostic kits, vaccines, antigens. So, all these are protected. What can be patented in India? Under section 3 and 4, as long as invention doesn't fall under any provisions of section 3 and 4. Section 3 and 4 are those provisions which doesn't allow the patenting of certain things, some processes, some activities. But on the other hand, if your invention has a nobility, is not non-obvious in nature, and is of industrial application in nature, not all these kind of inventions can be protected by the patent office. <clears throat> Now, what is not patentable? Now, under section three, there are number of clauses, number of, you can say, statements are written. You will see that all these statements are not patentable uh, or the inventions related to all these areas are not patentable as far as Indian market is concerned. For example, first statement is an invention which is frivolous, which claims contrary to the well-established natural laws. Right. Like for example, a machine claiming for giving output without taking any input. Now, this is something which is not possible. So nobody is going to give you the patent. Similarly, an invention, the primary or intended use or commercial exploitation of which could contrary to the public order or public interest, which causes serious prejudice to the human, animal or plant life or health or to the environment. Like for example, any machine used for performing theft or burglary. No, that is not patented because it is not in the interest of the society. S similarly, a mere discovery of any new form of known substances which doesn't result in the enhancement of the known efficacy of that substance or the mere discovery of new property or new use 
or new use for a known substance of the mere use of known process, machine or operators, unless such known process results in new product or employs at least one new reactant. Now, these kind of things are not patentable in India. But when you look at all these salt ethers which are developed as far as uh, in the which has, which are going for the registration in the Indian market, no, they will not be patentable. But when you look at all these kind of activities, they are registered in US market. That is in US, any new salt, any esters, any polymers, any metabolites, any new form or now those things are patentable in the US market. And that is why you will see that in case of US market, the pharmaceutical companies, they are able to increase the lifespan of the product, which is initially 20 years to the extent of 40 years. And they are able to make huge amount of resources for themselves. Similarly, the mere arrangement or rearrangement of or duplication of any known device, each functioning independently of one another in a known way. Like for example, a fan integrated with light and claiming an invention for providing airflow and light. Now that is not going to be patentable as far as Indian market is concerned. Any process for the medicinal, surgical, curative, and pro prophylactic, diagnostic, therapeutic or other treatment on human beings being presentation of the information. Now that is not patentable. Similarly, an invention which is in fact is a traditional knowledge that is not patentable as far as the Indian market is concerned. An invention which claims that you have discovered the scientific principle that is existing scientific principle that is not patentable as far as Indian market is. Now, most important thing is section four. Any new thing which is with respect to atomic energy that is not patentable as far as Indian market is concerned. It may be patentable in case of US market, but as far as Indian market is concerned, uh, it is not. Why you protect your inventions? We protect the invention because we want to showcase our technology or the portfolio of technologies which we have. We want to block the competition. That is why we want to protect our inventions. Similarly, we want a recognition because patents are giving the recognition as it's a source of recognition for the inventor. That is why we invent. Like yes, in the morning session, we have noticed that Dr. Sani has number of patents. He has invented a product, and that product is uh, protected, and he is known. That is, he is known for the invention of that particular product. So these are the reasons why we protect. Now I am. Now I will discuss this particular molecule or product, like it is a Ketruda patent. Now this patent is a patent for melanoma cancer product. Company has 129 patent applications so far. Out of these 129 applications, 53 patents have been granted by the uh, US regulator. 50% of the patent application with respect to this product, they were filed after the first FDA approval. First FDA approval was like in the year 2002. Then 75% of the patent application cover the different indications and formulations. So all these have been protected. Now look at the companies thinking of earning around $137 billion by protecting the rights from these 129 patents applications. Now, I'm not saying that these all these 29 patents application, uh, they have been considered by FDA and the patent has been granted on all these 129 applications. No, some applications have been rejected. Some are still in the process of evaluation, but so far, whatever they have earned, they are able to extend the life to the extent of 36 years. Now, uh, sorry, 36 uh, years uh, as far as uh, earning is concerned. Now, look at these are the patent. Product patents are 26%, biomarkers are 3%, formulation 2%, method of diagnostic kits 3%, method of production process 40%, method of treatment 
40 percent now these are all are not patentable in the indian market they all are, are patentable in the u.s market that is why they are able to extend the life like look at what i said here as far as indian market is concerned in indian market where our right is only up to 20 years in case of u.s market and what is not patentable in india uh, these are the inventions which are not patentable in indian market but in the u.s market these all inventions are patentable and because they are patentable they are that is why the companies are able to extend the life of the patent and look at a life which supposed to be of 20 years now you are able to give the extension up to 37 years so you are getting additional 18 years to earn from the market and that is why you are able to earn uh, amount to the extent of 137 billion now uh, so these are the like key patents product is able to extend 8.1 years method of treatment are able to increase the life for 6.5 years method of production process are able to increase the life for 7.3 years method of diagnosis are able to increase the life by 1.9 years formulations are able to increase the life by 4.1 years if you look at and total it you will see it is crossing 20 years now another important thing which you must remember with respect to the patents these are if you publish your idea you cannot get a patent if whenever you are able to generate something new in your mind try to protect that idea and if you say i have generated an idea and you publish it in any newspaper or in any journal now in that case you cannot get the patent so whenever you want to get a patent it is important that anything related to the patent should not be published by you because if it is published then it becomes a prior art and anything which is a prior art you are not going to get the benefit for that patent normally expires within 20 years right but they are renewed also for some period of time depending upon like if you are able to get some new patent around the product then another important thing is there is no nothing called word patent another important aspect is filing in many countries is expensive that is why we initially try to file in one country and if we are able to get return from that country then we go to the filing of patent in another country like and that is why you will see all the scientists or all the companies those who are involved in the inventing activities now they first try to file the patent in the u.s market because whenever you are inventing something you whenever you are converting that invention into a product you will see that product is going to be available at a very high price and you have to see that which market can afford that high price product now in case of like when we compare india and us you will see that only us market is a good market which can afford almost every kind of uh, high price product Patents can be significant part of company valuation or company value. Nowadays, you will see that companies are saying that we have capitalization to a particular level or worth of uh, so much so amount. Now that worth is generated because of the intangible assets. Now patents are useless if you do not enforce them. That is another aspect of patent. Then. Now, patents are becoming the selling points. Nowadays, you will see that when when look at this particular part, uh, company valuation part, number of research studies have indicated that almost 80% of the value of, of a company is nowadays dependent on intangible values. I give you a simple example. You all know Bisleri. Bisleri is a trademark and it belongs to a family, right? Mr. Chauhan is the owner of Bisleri. Now he is not well. His daughter is not willing to run the business. So they decided to sell the bank. They are in talks with Tata. 
Tata's have given a value, but they wanted to sell this name at rupees 7,000 crore rupees, right? 7,000 crore is a value of a brand, but Tata again found that they cannot pay or the, the you can say the two have not agreed to this particular amount. So that lady who was earlier not willing to run the business, now she has agreed to run the business and now it is not uh, going to be the Tata's. So I'm saying that the valuation part I'm talking about. And when you look at the other products of the same company, now they sold thumbs up and other product in just 160 crore, 164 crore rupees at that time, like in 1990. But look at the valuation, look at the brand thumbs up. It has a more valuation in the current marketplace as compared to Coca-Cola and that's it. Then look at Bernal. Bernal has moved from one hand to another hand. But the those who are purchasing one after another, they are not changing the name of the product. They are continuing with the same name because the name carries a value. And at present, uh, Mopen is the last owner of Bernal and they purchased it from Pyramid Group at rupees 10 crore rupees. One brand value 10 crore rupees. So that is what I'm saying is nowadays these intangible assets, they are becoming more valuable and that is why we give more value for the registration of these intangible assets. Now, patents are assets for the company and all the patents nowadays they are becoming an important component of the competitive strategy of the company. So I'm, I will not be discussing the competitive strategy but I will discuss how the patents they create or generate relations with the three components of the market like customers, competitors and partners. You will be appreciated more by the customers if you are able to supply them more value-added products, right? More value-added product means the product with more innovations or inventions. Like look at why you prefer a particular mobile phone. Why you prefer Apple? Because they give you the value addition in the form in the form of the new mechanisms, new softwares, or something which is helping them to process your information fast. Then competitors. Now, how competitors are going to be affected by the patents? While a patent does give you and the ability to pursue the legal action against the copycats, that is one aspect. The more potential for a lawsuit, the mere potential for a lawsuit is enough to deter many companies from attempting to reproduce the work. Now, whenever you are having a patent, you because you have a right, so that right gives you the ability to fight with the others. Now, in the next slide, I will tell you that how that right is affected and how the company, that is the affected company, has gone to the court and took the benefit from the court in order to protect his products. Similarly, when it comes to the partners, now when you have the patents, when you have trade bar, now you will get more and more partners and that will help you to grow the business. Okay. Then another form of uh, patent or you can say intangible asset is copyright. Copyrights are the right granted by the law to the creators of literary work, dramatic work, musical work, artistic work, films, sound recording, broadcast, public television. So for all these activities, you are getting the copyrights from the regulators. So anybody who is copying now will be booked. Like for example, uh, a movie which is which has just released in the marketplace and you want to see. Now look at the mechanism we follow. Okay. Pirated version later on. Now that pirated version is a violation of the copyright laws. So in case if you are uh, like uh, 
seen with that private uh, this pirated version no there is a mechanism somebody can take action against you so we have to look at these are the works these works if they are registered the creator has taken the copyright his copyright should be respected you should not copy it in case if you are copying it he may take action against you like for example uh, in case of music videos some there are many things which are involved the character the location the music the the small music pieces all things are involved if somebody is if you are able to observe that this copy this version of the music uh, is copied from somewhere you are saying that it is copied from somewhere now people are using i'm not saying that people are not using it. we are saying that many producers of film they are reproducing the film with the same name so they are taking the permission from the original maker of the film if they are not taking the permission in that case there are court cases the people are going to the court that he has used the time my title which i have produced some time back <clears throat> look at this example now this was a photograph which was clicked by jacobus and for us magazine now this is a very good photograph and nike wanted to use this particular photograph so he restricted initially and but later on gave the permission look at he was nike was paying around 15000 dollar per year for this photograph use now that is something there which is happening that is you are giving the permission but in lieu of the permission you have to pay something in that case it is allowed but question is when you are not taking the permission if he goes to the court he nike has used my photograph now in that case nike nike has to be like penalized or nike has to compensate for the use of this particular photo so i was talking about this plagiarism now when we look at the plagiarism it is basically the misuse of another person's ideas process or results or words without giving the appropriate credit so nowadays it is very important that whenever you want to copy you have to see how much it is permitted to copy and if you are copying that particular version or that much words now you have to give the reference that is you have to give the acknowledgement that is more important now some people they are what they are doing is they are copying the material from one article and writing Uh, it as part of their own work now in that case uh, there can be problem for the person who is writing the thesis or the paper so ethically it should be avoided copying should be avoided so uh, we all like in case we are going in the field of academics or we are involved in any kind of activity where these kind of things are used now we have to be careful because there may be there are certain rules by which you can be booked and you can be penalized another important aspect of intangible intangible asset is trademark now a trademark is a distinctive sign which is used it is used to distinguish the product or services from the competitors like for example the chartered accountants they write in front of their name ca right it is registered mark any certification which you are when you are purchasing a product particularly when you are purchasing an eatable product you see that a certification is there of the fssai now these are the certifications these are basically the marks which are used nobody can use uh, use these marks without the permission like if i am producing a bag for example an eatable i am saying that it is fsa fsa i but permitted and when fsa i comes to know that anand has used this kind of uh, this trademark against his product now they may come and ask me to show the certificate now in that case they may book they may take action against me so we have to look at these kind of aspects nowadays these are the words which are there nowadays what is ha happening is in the marketplace there are some unconventional trademarks are also there some people are able to take the trademarks on colors 
Like for example, there are some colors which are attached to some company. Like when, when you look at enter into the Samsung showroom, you will see that they are uh, they are able to decorate their showroom with white color. Coca-Cola is depicting in red color. Right? So and they are able to take the protection of those aspects. Right? So similarly, uh, look at red wine. It is red in color. That is why they are able to take a trademark. Look at sound marks are there, smell marks are there. All these are protected. If you are able to develop a new perfume, which has a particular kind of smell, and you are, it is important that nobody else, no, if you enter and uh, copy your smell. So you, what you do, you protect your that smell component with the trademark office, and then nobody will be copying that. So anything can be protected as such, um, <coughs> as far as when you are interested in marking the product. Now look at some trade and uh, trademark infringements which have been noticed in the marketplace. You all know this. No, there is a company selling undergarments. They use this word and this circle. Right? Undergarments they are selling. It is VIP company. They are using this word and this circle. No. This is similar to the logo of the car company. No, they went to the court and restricted them to use the same mark. Right? Now look at a pharmaceutical company, Cadilla Healthcare. Now they have developed a medicine for cerebral malaria by the name of Flacitab. There is another company, Cadilla Pharmaceuticals. Uh, they developed the product for the same uh, disease with the name of Pelsico. They went to the court just to restrict them not to use the same word, which is accepted by the Supreme Court because they said that they may create confusion in the minds of the consumer and the doctors <coughs> when they are prescribing the product. So they got the advantage. Now look at this part. Now design is another component. Now you are all wearing the designable clothes and you do not want to repeat the design. Seller is selling the design. He doesn't want that his design should be copied by somebody else. So he is protecting his design. What is design? Design is a basically configuration pattern with respect to the dress. Right? All are being protected. If anybody is copying that, in that case, the first developer can go to the court. Now, what are the prerequisites for the design to qualify for the protection? It should be novel and original. It should be visible on finished article. It should not have the prior publication. It should not have the prior publication. Now, these are the different designs of the different kind of products. Now, look at Crocs. Crocs is a multinational company. They entered into the Indian market. Bata, Liberty, they copied Crocs design. They went to the court. Bata says that this design was already displayed before the registration on their website. Again, I'm saying <laughs> this design was already displayed on the sites of the Crocs before the registration of patent in the trademark in the Indian market. So they got the work. Now, these are the things which are happening in the marketplace. Now, look at this part. Uh, in 19... 2021, uh, sorry, 2021, what happened? A company who is selling the Oreo biscuit, most favored, favored biscuit among the young generation. Now, they their product was copied. Particularly, the outer cover was copied. So they went to the court. And they got the benefit of going to the court. They restricted this company not to make use of the same kind of color combination while marketing the product. Look at Britannia Industries. They went to the court 
like your good day biscuits, bourbon. They went to the court and they took the advantage. So, in addition to the trademark, look at layout designs. Now, the integrated circuits are essential element for the wide range of electrical products, which are used in watches, television sets, washing machines, cars, and computers. Now, these the, the layout design of the integrated circuits, they are protected, right? So, but it doesn't mean that nobody, no one can else use the product. Everybody can use with the permission of the product. And look at how in case of Apple phone, which has a combination of so many patents. But all these patents are being used by the company after taking the due permission from the original inventor. Then another important aspect is the geographical indications. Now, geographical indications have become the most important aspects uh, as far as international market is concerned. Now, these indications are being like products which have the geographic indication, they are being protected by the law. And when they are protected, that means that nobody else can use that particular car. Like in case of Haldi, in the case of uh, Basmati rice, we were able to win the case because of the, because we were able to prove that these belongs to us. So there are a number of things which are happening like Darjeeling tea, and the Kashmiri Pashmina shawls, now all these have been protected as such. Then trade secret. Trade secret is a formula, process, or device, uh, formula, process, device, or other business information that is normally kept confidential to maintain the competitive advantage. Now look at Coca Cola is not sharing the formula, McDonald's burger is not sharing the the formula of the sauce. Similarly, KFC is not sharing the formula. And similarly, this WD formula, it is in insecticides, they are also not sharing the formula. The last variety of patent is plant varieties. Now, farmers are working very hard. So in order to increase them, whatever varieties they are developing, the regulators, they are trying to protect their interest also if they are able to develop the new variety. So in so that is why any development which is happening in the form of new variety of a plant is given a protection and that protection is covered under Plant Varieties Act in India also and US also. Now this is the case. ITC is a company, right? This company is basically, it has introduced a launch of the hotel by the name Darjeeling Launch uh, in 2003. But the board of P, they thought that this is a violation of their trademark. So what they did, they filed a suit in Calcutta High Court saying that ITC hotels should be restricted from the use of word Darjeeling in launching the Darjeeling launch. Now they went to the court, but the court gave the decision in favor of ITC Limited. Now why? Because this word Darjeeling is given a trademark or a direction only with respect to the T, not with respect to the other aspects. So they say that it is not going to create any sort of confusion. Whereas the I, uh, the board, T board was saying that it is creating a confusion and trying to make use of our name in order to get the business. No, it is not happening. So the court said that it is not creating any confusion. It is not selling a tea, but they have just named the launch as Darjeeling uh, launch because they have launched it in the marketplace 
to attract the customers. Now, if you look at this product. It's a camera where a design is there, trademark is there, copyright is also there. So, all form of different intangible assets are part of this particular product. Now, in the current marketplace, when you look at the drivers of business, now brand, product design, technological features, contracts, now all these are becoming the drivers of the business. That is, they are driving the growth of the business. If they are not there, because when you look at the from company point of view, in India, or in other countries also, the inventions are taking place. I'm not saying that the inventions are not taking place, but inventions are taking place at a very slow speed and the companies have to grow. So what basis they can grow? They are trying to find out and create these aspects for their businesses to help them grow and compete in the marketplace. So, what is innovation? Innovation is basically a process, an outcome of creating something new, which is also of value and resulting in new product, new process, opening of new market, new way of organizing the business, and new source of supply. Now, anything which is happening here with respect to these aspects, now it can be part of the innovation. Like, any new product in the marketplace, whenever the companies are developing a new version of the product, it is an improvement in the existing product. This one incremented improvement we go in it. That incremented improvement is also registered, which is also going to give the advantage. Whenever you see a new design has come, a new version has of the product has come, they are all protected by these kind of rules and regulations and that is why like in the marketplace how you are going to survive you are going to survive when you are able to differentiate yourself and that differentiation is coming when you are able to create a new variety of the product new version of the product if that differentiation is not there you will not be able to survive and that is why for creating the differentiation people are working hard in terms of uh, in terms of developing new product now, when I say there is an idea about a product, that is there is an invention with respect to the product, that invention has to move from one stage to the other stage. That is, that invention has to be converted and not, not from, and that is, you want that this invention should be converted into a product and from that product, you are, you are developing a company and then you are becoming a larger organization. So your invention, Invention is helping you in terms of growing your business from one level to the another level, or you can say from smaller level to the larger level. Similarly, if you look at the, the intangible assets part, now look at from here we are starting as far as uh, we are starting as far as product life cycle is concerned. This is the introduction stage, right from this stage to the last stage, when you are able to export the product in the marketplace, at each stage, you will see that some sort of intangible component is added into the product and that added intangible asset is going to help you in terms of generating profit from the marketplace. For example, I have developed a product. I want to sell the product in overseas market. Now, I have to register that intangible asset in the other market, then only I can take the advantage. Then I can able to generate more revenues from the marketplace. Other, if I'm not registering it in another market, no, in that case, I won't be able to get the advantage. Now, as far as Indian market is concerned, now look at how the R&D activities has moved right from 1970 to till today, you can say. Now, it has grown from an, like earlier in 1970, we were basically uh, having a 
patent design act and the patent was uh, that is we were more dependent on the import of the product and in order to reduce the dependence on the imports we started establishing certain research organizations and thereafter one by one you will see that we first developed the because we are not that much innovative in terms of or we do not have that much r and d capabilities so we thought okay, we should do something where we can restrict the import so we went for the process patent in 70 and subsequently with the increase in competition and the globalization activities now this process patent was converted or because of pressure we followed the uh, patent act we followed the patent mechanism in 2005 and this mechanism of like patent mechanism is the result of the activities or the development which have taken place over a period of time like look at this as far as uh, indian market is concerned there are number of things which were happening the demand was increasing from the market there was policy support which was also increasing and all these the two they have resulted into increase in investment now when the demand is increasing policy support is there investments are increasing you will see the growth will automatically take place from one level to another level in the last five years look at the patents application which we have filed now this is the growth of patent like in 2017-18 this was the number of patents which were filed in government uh, indian patent office now look at in 2021 these were the patents which were filed now so this increase is the result of the efforts of the government and the market that is why this increase has taken place if the consumers were not demanding, if the government was not supporting, now people would not have gone for the filing of the patent. Because the mark, the, there is a competition. Everybody wants to survive in the marketplace. Now look at the design part. These many designs have been registered. Look at the trademark. Now these many trademarks have been filed as far as Indian market is concerned. This is the growth of intellectual property as far as Indian market is concerned. And because of this growth, now look at our innovation index, which has also improved, like from 2015, it, we were at 81 number, and now in 2022, we are at number 40. Another important aspect is uh, there is a positive relation between relationship between the innovation and development. Now, over a period of time, uh, if you look at India, you will see that uh, particularly if I talk about the last 5-10 years, now look at how much efforts have been done by the government, how much effort have been done by the different institutions and which are reflected in terms of putting this, uh, this bubble, creating this bubble much larger in terms of innovations. And whenever the innovations are taking place, it is going to improve the development of the country now look at the per capita income look at the the the, the you can say the lifestyle of the individuals now they all have improved particularly after 1990 when we started uh, like maybe when we became more demanding in nature when the government becoming more supportive so as far as uh, patent ecosystem in India is concerned. Now, this ecosystem is growing. It is growing and it is more favorable as far as the Indian market is concerned. Now, look at the number of inventions which have been done. Look at the number of IPRs which have been filed. Look at the design number which have been filed. Look at the trademark which have been filed. And now, when I say ecosystem, it is not happening only in the larger cities of the country. It is also, the innovations are also taking place at the smaller towns also. And that is why people from small cities, they are also looking at what should be done differently so that they can compete in the marketplace. And when they think of differently, they try to have the 
registered, you can say, uh, rights with them. So I'm skipping this part. Now, how patents encourage innovation? Now, as far as uh, patents are concerned, they provide a record, reward mechanism to compensate for those, those who invest, those who invest in innovations. Even US president has also talked about the encouraging part to the innovators. Now, as far as the laws are concerned, intellectual property laws encourage innovation by allowing individuals and firms to take up IP rights, they were protecting their investment in research and development. It is only the protection part which is giving them a right. And with that protection, they are able to grow in the marketplace. And how patents encourage innovation, particularly, uh, it has been observed in a number of studies that Patents continue to foster the innovations, meaning that they induce people to invest because of the prospect of profiting from the innovations. Now, this is important that innovations are taking place because we are now becoming more concerned about how the things can be more profitable for us. If we are not inventing, the things are not going to be profitable for us. Let me look at how Apple phone has grown over a period of time because they're continuously inventing new things and incorporating those new things into the product and ultimately able to increase the profitability of the organization, of the brand or the organizations. Uh, I'm again skipping this part. Okay. Now, companies which are more technical oriented, now they have a more technical base. That technical base means they have more intangible assets with them. Over a period of time, it has been observed that the companies which are able to grow, they have more intangible assets. Those who are not able to grow in the current market, they do not have any kind of that technical know-how are the intangible assets. Now, this is proved in one of the studies that the companies which, the countries which have poor IP protection laws, they are not able to grow economically. And those countries which have a better economy, better protection, IP protection laws, they are able to grow much faster. Look at the comparison. If I look at India and US market, now we are still developing that protection mechanism and that is why we are like at a lower side as compared to the advanced countries when you look at the advanced countries look at what they are protecting they are protecting almost every kind of new thing with respect to the product we are not protecting every new thing with respect to the product maybe our socio-economic conditions are different that why that is why we are not able to uh, give IP rights with respect to some, some areas. But there is a competitive comparison between the countries that highly advanced countries have better IP protection laws or they have more IP rights with respect to the products and the less developed countries, they have the, uh, you can say IP laws, which are uh, restrictive in nature or IP laws are not helping them in terms of going into the marketplace. Then patents also promote competition. When we are thinking of having a patent, it means that we are interested in doing the innovation. And whenever the innovations are taking place, uh, look at it is going to increase the competition in the marketplace. If the innovations are not taking place, competition is not taking place. Again, I'm saying that whenever you want to become competitive, you want to become different. And in order to become different, it is important for you that you should invent something new so that you can survive for a longer period of time in the marketplace. So IP is increasing the economic growth of the 
countries and companies both. Like for example, different kind of IP based products are available nowadays as compared to past because of the new inventions. Similarly, these IP rights that which one is able to get, they are able to sell those IP rights, they are able to license those IP rights and thereby they are able to increase the valuation of the company. We have seen that there are many companies, those who have sold their IP rights to the different parties and ultimately they are able to get the more valuation from the marketplace. It is also improving the R&D activities. Now inventions nowadays, they are becoming valuable if it is patented. Now, for example, the more the invention is able to generate the value from the marketplace, now it is likely that out of that value which they are generating from the marketplace, they will be more investing in R&D activities. Now look at, I have talked about that product where the company is investing almost one thirty, earning almost $137 billion. Now look at if they spend 10% of that on the R&D activities, then how many new products or new ideas they will be able to generate to market the product. So ultimately what happens? IP generation or production is going to help the companies and the countries to grow in the marketplace and compete more aggressively. Then uh, IP rights allow countries to attract investment into high-tech manufacturing, thereby accelerating the move of upstream basic manufacturing. Now, before 2005, as far as Indian market is concerned, the IP laws were very poor. They were not pro towards the industry. But nowadays, look at the IP laws. The government has changed the orientation of the IP laws and thereby they are able to attract more investment from the other countries. Look at, we are also trying to make our country as a manufacturing hub when we compare to uh, China and some other countries. Now, small businesses, they are also growing. They are realizing the importance of the intellectual properties. So what they are doing is they are also uh, developing new ideas, new products and selling them into the marketplace. Now, this is helping them in terms of increasing their market share, increasing their turnover and the employment also in the marketplace. Now for government, whenever the IP system is implemented or used by the companies or the governments, it will be able to create more employment and more revenue for the government. Right? Look at Indian pharmaceutical industry, how much it is contributing in terms of employment, how much it is contributing in terms of GDP. Same is the case with the IT industry. Now, we are growing because these things are happening. If these things won't happen, now, in that case, our growth rate is going to be low or it is going to be stagnant. So in that case, we will not be able to become a uh, third largest economy of the world. Right. So this is another thing. IP production promote the interoperability. Now, what is interoperability is? is a, one of the specific example of how the IP system encourages greater collaboration and licensing of different companies, innovative technologies among each other for the benefit of the users. Now look at how Microsoft, how Apple is able to take advantage of this interoperability. We are, like, we are, we are getting the benefit, right? We are getting the benefit. Users means the consumers. We, the consumers are getting the benefit because they are able to get a single product where number of technologies are being used and all the technology developers, they are collaborating with each other. 
they are supporting each other in terms of again generating more value for the customer so interoperability is an important thing which is happening because of this ip protection if ip protection is not there then the interoperability won't be there so certainly uh, ip is playing an important role in keeping the engine running for new ideas product services and that's why it is keeping the market healthy and is able to generate employment productivity and is able to increase the gdp of the country and the overall growth of the country so any questions please Now, when we look at the products, there are two kinds of products which are available in the market. One is a patented product, the other one is the generic product. Now, generic product is a copied version of the product. Right. So, when we look at the Indian market, Indian market has a different kind of socio-economic structure as compared to the advancement. In our country, in order to meet the expectation of the people of the country, the, what the government is doing, uh, they they are giving like patent for the processes also, right? And by these processes, you are able to cut down the cost of product, right? So, but this cost of product which they are able to reduce, of course, it is hurting the interests of the people those who have invented the product. Right. So, because of the social economic condition, we allow these kind of things. If they come, then they will sell the product at a higher price. If they will sell the product at a higher price, then again, government will come up with some price mechanism. They will uh, negotiate with those people. And that negotiation will be according to the social economic condition of the society. In our country, when you look at the uh, total number of you can say expand total expenditure now the out of pocket expenditure is more in our country as compared to the other country so we have to look at that particular aspect and that is why this process uh, is uh, inventions are more taking place as well as indian market is right and of course it is hurting the interest of the original inventor that i agree Process patent and utility patent. Process patent. Process patent. Utility patent. I think this course saying of different. This utility patent is different. Now, utility is whatever invention you are doing. Is it going to be useful for the society that you have to look at? In case of process patent, like because when we say. In India, more post of process patents are taking place because we see the economic condition of the country. And that is why, and like by way of providing new processes for the production of the product, we are able to cut down the cost of the product. So this new process patent is a utility product because it is going to be used for the benefit of the society. It will cut down the cost of the product. Yeah. बात तो ये कि हम कोई
नहीं वो नहीं हो गया था क्योंकि देखो अगर मैंने एक प्रोडक्ट बनाया है मैंने यहाँ पे रजिस्टर कर लिया है इंडियन मार्केट में बाहर रजिस्टर नहीं कराया तो अगर मैंने अगर मैं मैं वहां जाऊंगा तो मुझे वहां रजिस्टर कराना पड़ेगा अगर मैं रजिस्टर कराऊंगा तभी मैं वहां सेल कर पाऊंगा अगर किसी ने ऑलरेडी करा रखा है तो मेरे लिए वहां पे जाना बहुत डिफिकल्ट होता है मैं वो नहीं तो है ही जैसे होती है आपको लगता है कि बहुत है, तो आप एक साथ दो तीन जगह फाइल करेंगे वो भी आप देखते हो कौन सा मार्केट ज्यादा स्ट्रॉन्ग है आपको ये जरूरी नहीं है की आपने पाकिस्तान में कराया यूएस में कराया और इंडिया में कराया पाकिस्तान में जाकर बहुत वायर हो जाए तो आपको ऐसे मार्केट में भी कराना पड़ेगा जो आपको लगती है वायरल हो मेरी प्रोडक्ट को आपको खरीद सकते हैं पर ऑलरेडी अगर वहाँ पे किसी नाम से वो रजिस्टर्ड है तो आपके लिए बहुत डिफिकल्ट होता है फिर आप कंप्यूटर मतलब परचेज नहीं करते मतलब सेल नहीं करते तो और हमने यहाँ रजिस्टर करा रखा है तो दूसरे के लिए डिफिकल्ट है आपके लिए सेल करो तो इम्पोर्टर के लिए भी मुश्किल है एक्सपोर्टर के लिए आपके लिए मुश्किल होगा अगर आप एक्सपोर्ट करते ऑलरेडी तो बहुत सारे ऐसे प्रोडक्ट्स हैं जहाँ पे लोग क्या करते हैं कि जितने भी जर्नल्स निकल रहे हैं जहाँ इन्वेंशन्स हो रही है वो क्या करते हैं कुछ उनके मॉलिकूल का कोई नाम उन्होंने ले लिया उसको अपने कंट्री में अपने नाम से रजिस्टर करा लिया और अपने रजिस्टर करा लिया मैं जाकर उसके नाम से बेचना सीखूंगा मैं नहीं कर सकता तो मेरे को क्या करना पड़ेगा उस आदमी से उसके राइट परचेज कर मेरे पेरेंट्स 
they are not there. They are no more. Now, unki property kisko milegi? Kya kam milegi? Jab mera naam ya to bill mein hoga, ya main ye prove karunga ki main unka bachcha. Yes sir. Right? Kabhi hum milte hain. आजकल उसके लिए गवर्नमेंट ने क्या किया कि राइट फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगिनिंग दे आर सेइंग दैट अपना डेट ऑफ बर्थ या अपना नाम रजिस्टर करा व्हाई क्योंकि वो रिलेशन बाद में प्रूव करना पड़ता है और वो जो ट्रांसफर ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी है वो इजी हो जाता है ठीक है ना तो रजिस्ट्रेशन हर केस में ही जरूरी है चाहे वो आप मतलब छोटे से छोटी चीज है घर के केसेस को लेकर के लेकर अब तक कंपनी के केस जब तक रजिस्टर्ड नहीं होगा तब तक कुछ नहीं नहीं तो कोई और खड़ा हो जाएगा कि मैं इनका बच्चा हूँ मुझे प्रॉपर्टी चाहिए तो फिर आप कोर्ट केस में करते हो प्रूव करते रहते हो कि आप इनका बच्चा जब रजिस्टर्ड होता है उस केस में प्रूव करने की जरूरत नहीं जैसे आप कहते हैं बिल बिल को भी रजिस्टर कराना बहुत जरूरी है अगर बिल रजिस्टर नहीं होगी तब भी दिक्कत होगी इंडिया में कुछ नहीं करा देते ही किसी का भी वो पेटेंट नहीं देता सर जो ट्वेंटी ईयर का जो पेटेंट एक्सपायर होता है तो अगर वो या रिन्यू होता है या फिर कोई पब्लिक प्रॉपर्टी है and he is not practicing about the same thing so the name change hota hai like id is there is going to add one like in the new how are we trying to function no as long as the company feels that my interests are not affected negatively okay ki mere paas 100 crore ka valuation hai mera turnover itna zyada hai एक आदमी खड़ा हो गया दस रुपए कमा रहा तो मुझे फर्क नहीं पड़ता मार्केटिंग की वजह से अगर वो बंदा अगर वो स्मॉल प्लेयर इज एबल टू टेक अवे माय मैक्सिमम मार्केट शेयर मेरे राइट को अफेक्ट करता है तो देन आई विल गो टू द कोर्ट लेट्स गो टू सी द मार्केटिंग इंडिया में तो बहुत सारी चीजें बिकती हैं हर एक के लिए हम केस नहीं करते पर जब आपको लगता है कि वो डायरेक्ट अटैक है मेरे मैक्सिमम पोस्ट में लेके जा रहा है So thank you, Dr. Alan, for giving us such a deep insight into the area of intellectual property rights.